In order to set up a brand new raw to select system, first check that you've downloaded the free app when connected to the internet or 4G. Next, on the device, go to settings and make sure that you're connected to the network that your hub is connected to, whether that's the home's permanent router or the wireless access point that you've brought with you. And launch the Lutron app. Once you go through and agree to the one-time license agreement and data usage terms, you'll see the main home screen. This has been conveniently split into homeowner and professional. While the homeowner section has steps to create an account and sign in, the professional section includes a sign in to pro installer mode without requiring any confidential information from your client. If you're not yet a Lutron Pro installer, you can also use basic setup. Let's proceed with sign in to pro installer mode. Enter your email, click next, then enter your password and select sign in. Select set up a new system and select raw to select. At this point, you also have a visual representation of how to connect the hub if you need it. Click OK to allow Lutron to find and connect to devices on your local network. Now, it's looking for that main repeater on the network that you connected to, and for security, it requires you to identify it by physically pressing the button on the product to show that you're there. The client can name their home themselves, so again, click Next. We can see that it's already identified our geolocation with longitude and latitude, so when we click Next, it sets the time and location on the system as it's the first time you're setting it up. It then takes us straight to the list of devices that we may have installed to start building the system area by area. Let's start with the inline dimmer and switches. These are probably in the ceiling behind a dine light or remotely mounted in a cupboard. So instead of having to get on a ladder and locate them to press physical buttons, we can find them remotely here. The system is now searching for any inline devices which haven't yet been assigned, whether this is 20 or two like we have here. And we can see that it's found both. So again, instead of having to take a note of the serial number before the installation to identify the lighting circuits connected to each device, we can now simply press flash on the app, which flashes the whole circuit of lights connected to that dimmer for easy identification. I now know exactly which one it is and we can proceed to add it onto the system. This press brings up a list of room names and for the purposes of this, we're going to create a nice kitchen. So I know that the lights that flashed are the main ceiling lights in this kitchen, which allows me to input that on the app. And when I press next, those lights flash twice to let me know that they've been added. We repeat this process to add the next set of lights and so on. You can see that it doesn't have to search again as it's previously discovered it. I can see now the second set of lights flashing, which I can add again to the kitchen. And I know that these are the under cabinet lights which flashed. When I click next, it adds the device and takes me to adding another device. I've now got a kitchen scene peeker in my hand, so as per the instructions here, I can press the button button for 10 seconds until the LED on the device blinks quickly and the room list comes up again. As you can see, it's a very easy process to just select each of the devices as you go and add them to the system. We're done adding devices, so all of this information that we've just input onto the app is transferred onto the main repeater and then stored on the Picos and inline devices. Now we have the main screen of the home set up showing the rooms and devices that have been added so far. The main lights and under cabinets are shown to be currently on. Remember, I haven't done any programming on the keypad, yet if I press the off button on the physical kitchen Pico I have in my hand, I can see that those lights turn off. When I press the on button, the lights turn on. And if I go into the keypad on the app, I can see that I have a replica of what's on my wall, which means that I can show you when I go to edit device that we already have preset scenes. For the dining button, the main lights are showing at 50% and the under cabinets are 20%. It leaves the homeowner with something to start with that they can adjust in their own time. They can add lights from the dining room for example, close the Lutron blinds if they have them and even add music to that button with their favourite dining playlist. 
and really at the initial setup, that is all you need to do. So you can now send the homeowner invite from the ribbon at the bottom, put the homeowner's email details in and click send invite. You can see a copy of the email that's about to be sent to them by Lutron, which you could also CC yourself in and click send. And that's your handover done.